friend Shayla here and today I'm sharing five pieces of bikepacking gear I cannot live without. These items have really been game changers for me so I wanted to share them with you as well. Before I do, I just wanted to mention that if you enjoy my videos and you get value from them, consider joining me over on Patreon. Your support there helps me to continue making videos and in return you get things like exclusive behind the scenes videos and photos, updates, Q and A's and more. All right, let's get into it. First off is my Ortlieb handlebar bags. Yes, I have two of them. This is because during the pandemic, there were shortages and I couldn't get my hands on the Ultimate 6 8.5 liter. This is the classic. This was the one I wanted because it's so big and spacious. So instead I got the Ultimate Plus in a seven liter. But what's really been such a game changer for me with them is that they have this magnetic closure right at the top and this sits right in front of you. This makes it so easy to grab my camera or a rain jacket or a snack. Whatever I need is right in front of me. I also love that Ortlieb has their five year waterproof guarantee, which luckily I haven't had to use, but it's nice to know that, that exists. One concern I've heard raised about them is that, you know, it is a bit of like a cavernous space, especially in the big one. So in theory, if you don't have it full, your stuff's gonna be bouncing around in there. I always have my camera and some kind of cushiony fabric and I usually have a bunch of other stuff in there so there's always some extra padding in there so it hasn't been something I've worried about too much but if you're interested in a full video on one or both of those uh, let me know in the comments below number two is these Segoy evolution cycling shorts now full disclosure they did send me this new pair complimentary but I purchased these two myself many years ago and became obsessed and have loved these Segoy shorts ever since one of the biggest reasons I love them so much is that they are so comfortable for many years, I raced in triathlons, which meant I was wearing a lot of chamois shorts. Unfortunately, none of them I found very comfortable. They would always be really tight at the waist or really tight at the legs or chafe weirdly around the chamois or around the seams. And so finding these Segoy shorts was such a blessing. They do this cool thing at the legs where only a small part is actually elasticized in the traditional way. And then they have this kind of thin, fabric that elasticizes a little differently so you don't get those kinds of bulges or discomfort it just sits really smoothly and comfortably on your legs i also find the chamois very comfortable i find them super long lasting those two pairs i bought have been the only shorts i have used for years and i'm still wearing them now now i've heard more and more people moving towards leather saddles finding you know such comfort with that that they don't even need chamois shorts anymore and i think that's super cool and quite tempting to not need to carry an extra pair of shorts so i might try that down the road but for now so long as i'm wearing chamois shorts these will be the ones i swear by number three is waterproof socks these ones are from Bridgedale. I mentioned these in my video about my favorite waterproof gear, which I will link below, but these have really kept the rain out of my feet, helped keep my feet warm. The only time I don't use them is in hot conditions where they just kind of feel like too much, but in any kind of cooler temperatures, they are really such a blessing. I don't know how I exist without them and I highly recommend. Number four is this Karina Organics shampoo and body wash. I use this for just about everything. According to their description, it is vegan, biodegradable, hypoallergenic, safe in rivers, lakes, and oceans, and made with certified organic ingredients. If you look at the ingredients, it is just so natural compared to what you will see on your average shampoo or soap bottle. I like that whether I need to clean my hair or my body or my clothes or my dishes, I can do that knowing that it's biodegradable and organic. I simply pour this into a smaller container and I find that so long as I use it sparingly, that container can last me up to a month. So big, big fan of this shampoo and body wash. And lastly is this underwear from Under Armour. This is their Pure Stretch Hipster. I bought a new pack cause I needed more and I wanted to show you some nice new ones. If I can even open it. Oh, wow, that was way easier than I thought. So they are completely seamless. 
When companies started to do seamless, they would do like an iron press on the sides and that iron press would fall apart and underwear would just disintegrate within a few weeks or months. Whereas here, they actually cut it. So there's like a raw edge, but then they stitch it in the center. So you still get this like comfortable space without having to worry about seams falling apart. I find seamless underwear is so important because you're in the saddle all day and the smallest little seam or bulge or anything can just start to chafe and you can end up with saddle sores or other discomforts. I also find this quite moisture wicking and it dries really fast, which means that I can get to my campsite, wash it, hang it up, and it's dry by the next morning and I have a dry pair of underwear to put on. They also happen to be incredibly lightweight and small and roll up teeny tiny. So great for packing. Now this particular model is designed for women, but I did notice that Under Armour has a tech boxer jock that is also seamless and moisture wicking. So that might be worth checking out. A seamless, moisture wicking, quick dry, lightweight underwear goes a long way. Okay, those are five items I cannot live without on my bike trips. I will leave links to everything below and I would love to hear from you what are some of your favorite bike touring or bike packing gear items. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for being here. See you in the next one. Bye. I think it's fine.